Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying three candies from a local candy store. This is called Ruth Hunt Candies. Um, I have the bourbon sea salt caramels, the orange creams. And I have an unmarked mint julep. But they are mint julep because <laughs> we asked. <laughs> uh, these were all on the markdown uh, counter table, yeah. table yes. Uh, so they were uh, marked down. This one was $3, the mint julep. And the uh, orange creams were two dollars, and the bourbon sea salt caramels were a dollar ninety-five. So just because they were on the markdown table doesn't mean they um, doesn't mean there's anything wrong with them. Um, they just had had them longer, I guess, than their their fresh stuff at the counter. Um, if you have not been, um, if you're local and you haven't visited Tech Candies. Um, I wanted to read the bottom. Oh, uh, if you haven't, if you're local and you haven't visited Ruth Hunt Candies, they are on Walton Avenue in Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, they're also in Mount Sterling, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that their oh, mother? So. Their mother store is in Mount so. Sterling. Um, we've actually done a video, uh, a tour, uh, where we walk through Ruth Hunt Candies. It was a, it's a neat candy store. So the one on my channel is the one that we visit. Uh, I want to see if there's anything different on here. Yeah, Mount Sterling, Kentucky. That's what I thought. Uh, so we have not been to the Mount Sterling store. Um, it's www.ruthhuntcandy.com. And uh, so you could go there and um, uh, order and then get it mailed to you. Yeah, I really like these. I love the caramel. They're a little like dense caramel, so you have to chew out them a little bit. That could be because they were on markdown. I don't know. I doubt it. It's probably just the texture. But they do have a bourbon flavor to them. You can get that little, kind of like that bourbon ball kind of flavor. You mm -hmm. get that, but it's not it's not overpoweringly strong. No, this is not as strong as Kevin's. No, bourbon. my bourbon ball will like no. make your ha nose hairs curl. I think what it is is. Um, the, because this is a, a bourbon caramel, well, first of all, you get the sea salt. Mm -hmm. It has lots of sea salt. Yeah, it's sprinkled on the top. I like that. But I think we always make traditional bourbon balls, which have like a white powdery. It's basically powdered sugar. They're wonderful. They're <laughs> wonderful. Uh, but we make traditional bourbon balls, and you really, really taste that bourbon flavor. The caramel, the sweetness of the caramel kind of hides the bourbon. Yeah, and the chocolate's got a little bit of a darker flavor too. Yeah, it's not a dark bitter, chocolate. dark, like bad no. dark. It, it mixes all really well. It's yeah, it's very, very good. Mm -hmm. I, I think I was expecting the bourbon to be stronger, but it wasn't because of the caramel. Yeah. I didn't realize the caramel would hide it like yeah. that. But you do bit. get it. You get it. It's just light. Yeah. So those lighter. are good. Yeah. Don't expect bourbon ball levels of bourbon. No. Uh, yeah, I, I love uh, some bourbon balls. It looks like they stuck either candy. Is it candy? It's orange, orange yeah. Candy to orange. I thought maybe it was a... Uh, In the middle, it looks like the center is orange. These are called orange creams. I squished it. But you orange creams like, uh, I'm sure like you would get in a box of, uh, box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. <laughs> mm. It's a nice orange. Mm-hmm. I cut that the best I could. It kind of baby looks, aspirin. Do you think so? Mm -hmm. I like baby aspirins. No, I don't think. I don't think it's quite that. I imitation do. orange. I do. Do you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I like it though. I'm not complaining at all. It's good. I like it. I've, I've said in videos before. I should probably be ashamed of that, but I'm not. I like baby aspirins. I think that is good. That reminds me of the orange from a from a bear from a, bear. a bear baby aspirin. Um, I like it quite a bit. I, like the, I don't think they. Really I like the addition of the little candy on top. Oh, it gives you a little texture for a little. Uh, it, it's pretty. Uh, these are very nice, mm -hmm. and even though they were on the markdown table, you would never know. No. They still taste very fresh no. to me. If you take that out and put it on the table, nobody would ever know. Nobody would ever know. <laughs> okay, this I'm very curious about. Uh, the guy told us that these are. I said, "What are those?" And my guess was mint. Just because they just look like they would be something meant to me. But he said mint julep. And I thought, well, that sounds really, really good. Now, because these are local 
they don't have calories on any of them. You know, you just have to figure like a Lent Lindor truffle is about what, 70 calories? So you figure these are probably somewhere around 60, depending on how big they are. I would say these are, if I had to guess, 60 calories a piece is what my guess would be. This one. Tell you what, I get the alcohol. Ooh. Are What's you, funny is there's no mint in that that I taste. Well, maybe a little hint of something. But. I get, um, I do get a hint of mint. It's not strong. It doesn't mm. taste like a broth mint or anything. No, it's not like a toothpaste, anything like that. Uh, mainly, uh, you're getting whatever alcohol that is. Um, I do get some mint though. A little bit, yeah, but it's more of a fresh mint, not a breath mint or toothpaste mint. It's very delicious. It's good, and I love the texture of them. I do too. I was going to say, out of the three, those have the best texture. They're more bourbon ball texture. Mm -hmm. the, the texture of the inside is more creamy bourbon ball kind of texture. Yes, yes. Very, 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 very soft. Mm -hmm. So these were the softest of the three, I mm -hmm. think. These really good. Um, because the, the, the caramels was more, it's not a runny caramel. No, it's a chewy. It's a firm caramel. Yeah. So, so that one, yes, was a chewy piece of chocolate. So, if you only had enough money. Probably the mint. I really like them. I do too. But I'm going to pick the orange cream. The orange were really good. The orange cream too were in milk chocolate. I don't know if we said that. Those were in milk chocolate. The uh, bourbon caramel and the mint julep were both in dark chocolate. But it's not dark to where it's not bitter it's not at all. Bitter. No. Just a darker, just a slight darker. But all three of these are delicious. They're very good. And like I said, you can you can get boxes of candy, assorted candy, uh, from Ruth Hunt if you want. Uh, we have, I think we've reviewed a lot of Ruth Hunt on the channel. And we have more to review, don't we? Mm -hmm. So we're going to be having other videos. So if you enjoyed this one, please stay tuned. If you're local, I hope you visit them on Walton because it's a nice gift shop. Mm -hmm. They have... It's easy in and out of too. It's yes, awesome. they have a nice parking lot on the side. Um, they have their candy, of course, and they have a counter that you... And they'll give you a free sample. When um, you buy stuff. Um, when you buy some. Well, I bet I bet you if you walked up my for a sample, they'd give Maybe. you one. I bet they I would. But they've always asked us after we bought stuff. <laughs> after we bought stuff, do you want a free sample? That's true. But I think if you actually ask them, I think they would give you a free sample. Um, but they not only have their candy, they also have gifts like Kentucky related gifts. Mm -hmm. um, Was it Woodford Reserve? Bourbon they had balls. Woodford Reserve yeah. bourbon balls. They had like L8. L8's made in Winchester, Kentucky. It's a soft drink. They had their salsas. Um, they, they had suckers. Yeah, they have all kinds of little gifts, but they also have candy from just like regular candy that like Cracker Barrel type candy, like the old fashioned candy. They have a lot of that stuff too. So there's just a lot of stuff to offer. Um, it's so a neat place to go. yeah, it's a very neat place to go. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.